Alright, gang, what's good? We back with another video we're about to react to the tea room. If y'all didn't know, I reacted to I reacted to some of the stuff that they're talking about yesterday. With DDG, people saying that he got a, him and Holly got a baby. And then with Lexi putting supposedly putting the paws on Nike. So we're gonna dive into this tea, man, and we're gonna see if it's giving what's giving. We're gonna see if it's really tea or it's just some BS. Cause uh the shit yesterday was some BS, okay? But before we get into this video, like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications, man, so y'all don't miss out. Share the video as well. Share with your mama, your cousin, your daddy, your auntie, your grandpa, your baby, your baby's baby. Share the video. We turning up 2024, man. Got more content coming. Believe me, we got more content coming. All right. We'll have some challenges, some some different videos. But let's get into this video and let's see if it's getting what it's supposed to give, y'all. Finally showing my daughter. Then he posts a picture of him holding a fake baby. Now it's being said that DDG may actually have a son and not a daughter. But let's move on to this next topic with Corey and Prime. Now I recently reported that Corey has been throwing some shots at Prime, maybe insinuating that he started his career. Now when Prime responded, Corey did state that he's not beefing with Prime, but if he wants to take it there, they can take it there. Now, this was Prime's response to Corey stating that he made him. So check this out for the people. So for the people who don't know what the tube house is, like, um. He didn't make them, that's why. Carmen and Corey had a house when they was in a relationship or whatever the case may be, and they put YouTubers in with small followings, right? Couples, I think it was. It was couples or whatever the case may be that was growing their YouTube channel. I think in 2021 or 2020, I think it's 2021, I don't know. But yeah, that's what the two pops is. People that don't know, man, these videos are private right now on my channel. But let me go ahead and remind y'all real quick. Like, a lot of YouTubers came, you know what I'm saying? They came with low subscribers, no subscribers. And we turned them up on the two house, and we're about to do it. I'm about to do it again. came with no subscribers, low so, subscribers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga. If y'all want to come, Great job, bro. come do that shit again, to bro. Miami, if you're in Miami, you want to be on the two house, you want to get your life changed like I changed these people's lives, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Skip to the part where I'm on it, you feel me? Talking about change, need people's lives. Mind you, look, I'm just here to clear the air. You know what I'm saying? For those who know. For those who know, that love. man had motion. Love what you find. Only Wait before you ran into him more. First and foremost, ain't no tube house that made me who I am today. Secondly, let me tell you this real fast. Like I said, Carmen and Corey had a little house. Really was Carmen because bro wasn't even in, it, <clears throat> in this shit for real. Like, it was a production put by a team and Carmen was running the whole production first and foremost. Respectfully. I don't know if you guys remember before mm -hmm. Nick got into a relationship with Dwayne, she was, messing she with was allegedly talking to, to Fredo, Fredo Bang. Bang. Now, you guys know after Fredo Bang went to jail, Neek kind of moved on with her life, and that's when she started dating Dwayne. And when Fredo got out of jail, he became she very salty done? Because, because waist Neek had looks small on. He and was posting videos of himself throwing their photos in a pool. Then he even made a song about her. He was all in her live commenting, come home and things like that. But by that time, Neek was already happily fault, in a relationship with Dang, Dwayne. Cool for love. Well, Bye. Neek, Neek made a whole song about him. Million dollars worth of game where he stated the real reason why he couldn't leave Miss Neek alone. Ever been in a situation where you do run into that, that throat warrior and she just had you thinking life, looking at life differently or something? I had a chick, mouth was so good. I waited in her driveway while another mm. dropped off to me. <clears throat> Damn. And I had no problems with it. What's going on? What happened? Why you let her go? Oh, I went to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I went to jail. <laughs> 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 Who you come home with you looking for? Oh, did what? I? What the fuck? I found this. She had a dude, though. He was you still, looking for a still, daylight in the yeah, daytime so with a flashlight. She was over her whole face. You said she was on her whole face. How's she a whole one? And on she was never. She wasn't with him. Nike and Lexi. Now, allegedly, people are stating that Nike and Lexi got into a fight because Nike received a larger purse from CJ on Christmas. 
Christmas Day come. The last person to open up their gift and baby. baby. I'm going to skip that because I don't need to hear old girl saying that again. Okay, first, everyone wants to know how was this situation brought to the internet? Now, it's been stated that there is a mole somewhere in CJ's camp and sent this story to some tea and blog pages. And that's how the uh -huh. story got out about Lexi and Nike fighting over who had the bigger purse. I mean, it's obvious that someone had to tell because yeah. how would anyone have known what occurred that day? Now, when Tavy went live and people were calling her messy, the only thing that she did was pretty much confirm the story. She never stated that they got into a physical altercation, nah, she about the purse. but she did let it be known that Lexi was upset. Now, there was a skit done by another page and on that skit, that's when the whole thing with the fight occurred and Lexi actually knocking Nike into a Christmas Come tree. But again, everyone is stating that that part of the story is not true. Now, Tavi is actually blaming this on Lexi, stating Lexi is the one that brought this to the internet. Now, when she Lexi was did, on YouTube Live, she spoke briefly about the situation. This is what she had to say about everything that has been put out on social media. Please, you starting drama is not us hating on you. It wouldn't be our business. If you didn't have a skit put out that was exclusive information for, for only people in the room to know. What the hell skit? I'm not creating a movie. I didn't even have a skit. You're 21. Cray cray. You do skits. What is she doing? I do real life. Not speaking on BS, because no one will believe anything. Just gotta see it. Stun in the dark, dark will always come to light. It always has, naturally. Thank you. <laughs> Lexi, do your makeup like before it's too late. Dr. Beth, are you really So you guys leave your opinions on this it's down fake in the drama, y'all. Ain't nothing below. going on with them too. I've seen a lot of people stating that they agree with Lexi that Nike shouldn't have received the bigger purse. Then I see some other nah, people stating have. like, no, Nike is his baby mama. If she asked for that purse, she got what she I feel like just because she's his baby mama don't mean she should have gotten something bigger. She's his baby mama. She never even made it to be his girlfriend. Not to be rude, but from what he said, Nike was never even his girlfriend. She was just a girl that he did what he did with, had a kid, and then he moved around and moved to goddamn Vegas on her. So she, her being in his being, his being shouldn't have mattered. He shouldn't, he, he has a whole woman. He shouldn't have gotten his woman a smaller purse than when he got his baby mama. That's just my opinion. Otherwise, he should be with baby mama. Honestly, in my opinion, CJ does buy Lexi things. But I mean, he does time, buy Lexi so shit too. Not sure why she's so upset that he got Nike this bag. But he but probably you buys Nike shit all the time too, y'all. on everything down in the comment section below, as well as your thoughts on the whole. My thoughts on the whole Corey and Prime thing. I feel like it's nothing too serious. I feel like Corey just in his feelings because he maybe want his wife back. He messed up and he's so used to her. He's so used to messing up and then her coming back to him. And the fact that she hasn't come back to him now is just killing him. But I feel like Prime should stay away from the man. Prime got too much going on to indulge in what Corey got going on. You feel me? But that's just my opinion. Y'all leave some comments down below what y'all think. Y'all leave some comments down below if you want to see a certain video. And uh, like I said at the beginning, share the video, like the video, and comment. It's free. It's not costing you nothing. But it's not costing you nothing but your time which is something you can't get back. But if you give me, if you do give me some of your time, I appreciate it. Until next time, man, turn me up. Don't turn me down. Let's get it.